Hello and welcome or welcome back. Today we are going to start Stardew Valley, which I have never played. I don't have experience with. Um, I had someone recommend it to me last night and I watched the trailer on Steam and decided to get it really quickly. <laughs> because it looked adorable and um, more slow-paced than, you know, the things that I'm kind of avoiding right now. So, I'm also trying um, to be a little more soft-spoken today instead of whispering. So, I want you guys to give me some feedback and let me know, do you prefer me speaking more softly, or do you prefer the whispers, or do you enjoy both? Let me know in the comments below. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game. Again, I don't really know much about this, <laughs> um, but I'm, for those of you that do know, I, I do have health issues and I'm having a bit of a flare-up today, and I really wanted to work on our Minecraft videos, on our purple mushroom house, um, but I just don't feel like I have the energy to back something super creative like that and, and free form. So I thought that would be, or this. <laughs> would be the perfect opportunity to start something a little more structured, but still fun and relaxing and soothing, um, because, yeah. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and make our character. I want to do a female for sure. I am very pasty. Oh my gosh, there's so many colors. <laughs> wow. We'll go with this one. I have super curly hair. Um, and like that, but the curls are tighter. Yeah. With that. Um, do some green eyes and red or auburn hair. It's horribly faded because I can't dye it anymore. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's cute. change any of this later. We're gonna go with green. Green's my favorite. <gasps> She's so cute. It's like a little house on the prairie. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I'm really going for that vibe though. Um, we'll go with pants. I can't really see anything that it's adding, but I think we'll just go with, I'm assuming this stands for accent, um, animal preference. I'm definitely a cat person. I have two little tuxedos. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go with Cleo. And basic. Leo's farm. My favorite thing in the world besides cats. And my BF is Mac <laughs> cheese. Um, no, I don't want to skip the intro. Oh, 
so you can choose your little farm. Okay, the standard farm says a simple plot of land with a large amount of open space to design. Riverland, your farm is spread across several islands and scenic riverbanks. Fish are more common. A forest farm. The woods limit your farming space. However, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. So far, I'm leaning heavily towards the forest. Let's see. We have hilltop, rocky terrain, and a windy river make it difficult to design your farm. However, a mineral deposit provides mining opportunities. Wilderness. There's plenty of good land here, but beware. At night, the monsters come out. I don't think I could handle that right now. <laughs> we need something more relaxing and soothing for the nervous system. So four corners. The land is divided into four parcels, each with its own perk. Perfect for a group. And the beach farm. Good foraging and fishing, and tons of open space. Sometimes supply crates wash up on the shore. However, sprinklers don't work in the sandy soil. I really want to go with forest, but I don't know if some of these are easier to play than others, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know if it's the best idea, but because the, however, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep has me curious. Um, the bounty of the forest. I know where I live in real life, you know, people with lots of property plant lots of trees and wait years and have them logged and cut down eventually to supplement income. So is the bounty going to be the wood or are there fruit trees that are hiding in this forest? That's what I'm curious about. Most curious about. Oh, it looks like Santa Claus. And for my very special granddaughter, I want you to have the sealed envelope. Was he on his deathbed? No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. Okay, years later. Oh, is this like where I'm working? Oh, there I am in the little tin gallon. <laughs> it's like Snoop Dogg, but not. <laughs> Oh, is this me? Falling asleep? Bored with the monotony and stress of a nine to five? Mm. Dear Cleo, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I had lost sight of what mattered most in life real connections with other people and nature. 
So I dropped everything and I moved to the place that I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Cleo's farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I'll keep it simple and say, um, I got worn down in a similar position about eight or nine months ago, and then my health took a turn for the worse, and I've been stuck at home in the country <laughs> for eight months, and so it kind of kind of hit home a little, a little more than I was expecting it to. Anyway. Hello, you must be Cleo. I'm Robin, the local, local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. This is Cleo's farm. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. This must be Lewis. Yep. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. It's very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Ooh. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Cleo. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, she looked a little... <laughs> flustered. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and reintroduce or introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate it. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Okay. I thought it was a dumpster. <laughs> Trash bin. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I would say that's how I wake up in the mornings, but it's usually cows instead of chickens, roosters, I mean. Okay, it definitely looks like it's Christmas time. Okay. Okay. And I guess this is like the day time. Okay. Oh, oh okay. We have a weather report, fortune teller, and living off the land. Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. What is this? Can we open it? Oh. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Okay, I'm assuming these are like quests or missions or... Okay, we have introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. So I have to introduce myself to 28 people. We have getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water it every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Okay, so we'll go plant some parsnips then. So meet some people and plant some seeds. Uh... Assuming this is a scythe, okay. We'll just clear some of this. Uh, should, yeah, there's a little X. And a big X. to be 15, so 3. I lost count, and this is not as easy to count as Minecraft. <laughs> Either that's just enough, or it's one row too many. We'll see. Oh, well, would you look at that? Okay, let's go ahead and clear this out of the way. See the little watering can at first. Okay. Let's. Okay, 
that's a little blocked off. Let's see where this goes. Oh. <laughs> Watering the fence post. Okay, well, he said he's the mayor of Pelican Town, so let's go this way. Because I'm assuming that's where he wants us to greet some people. <laughs> girl needs that muscle remedy in real life. <laughs> when you've pushed your body too hard, drink this to remove exhaustion. This restores a lot of energy. Okay, cool. Oh, I do have some low energy. Um, what's this? They have festivals. Huh. Can I look at this? Pierre's General Store closed on Wednesdays. I guess it's Wednesday. No, it's Monday. Mm -hmm. Let's go introduce ourselves. Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. Pierre? I don't know if I have any money. I do have money. Mm -hmm. Let's hold it. Let's wait, because I don't... I don't know. I don't know about spending money yet. Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Who are you? Caroline? Hello, you must be Cleo, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Nice to meet you, Caroline. This looks like a s oh, <laughs> we're watering the potato drop off. Okay, I don't see anyone else in here. Oh man, time flies by in this game. Wow. The Star Drop Saloon. Oh, food and spirits. Hi. Hi, Evelyn. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community. You can call me Granny if you like. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh. No. <laughs> What's your name? Does it, does it not tell me his name? Exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Oh. Is that Caroline? Yeah. Recognize the hair. <laughs> oh, there's a little. It looks like a little kid. Come here, Vincent. Oh, a stranger. <laughs> that's the appropriate response. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. <laughs> I like to think I'm okay. <laughs> oh, there's a sewer. Oh. 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 Is it a graveyard? Uh -oh. My grandpa in here? Let's... Oh wait. Huh. 
Interesting. It's empty. Oh, you look new. <laughs> oh, cool. Aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Everyone seems pretty friendly so far. We've gotten like a third of what we need. I'm scared to wander off too far because I see my energy's getting low and I. Uh, I'm assuming I need to eat something, but I don't know what to eat. I don't think our parsnips are going to grow in a day, but I don't know. Who knows? Nope. Definitely an interesting property. We can watch a little TV before bed. Welcome to KOCV5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. Great. Then we can continue our adventures in town and meet some new people. Can I sleep? Oh, I can. I, you know, it's only 6.30, but... In real life, I go to bed at 8.30, so it's not too different. <laughs> if you have enjoyed watching this first day of Stardew Valley with me, go ahead, like, comment, and share, and subscribe to the channel, and I will be back soon with day two for you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.